One of the things we look at an awful lot when we're on the lesson tee with our students is lower body stability in the backswing. We want to try and make sure that whenever our players are swinging the golf club, we don't see a lot of like spinning of the hips or extending of the hips. We want to see good footwork and good stable lower body in the backswing. What that's going to do, it's going to give you a really, really good chance to stay in your posture. It's going to give you a really good chance to get to the golf ball the right way. And everything I really think that Butch teaches and that Claude and I hopefully teach too, is to really improve your chances of getting to an efficient impact position. So a really good exercise if you're struggling with lower body stability in the backswing is to try a trail leg loaded drill where you just take your lead leg and trip back onto the tiptoe and make a backswing keeping all that weight stable on that trail leg. That's going to help you with the sensation of what it's like to keep your lower body nice and stable in the backswing. The second thing that we look at an awful lot, and again keeping it very simple, is a wide and short arm swing. We've seen a lot of Butch's players through the years, from Greg Norman to Tiger Woods to Adam Scott, really making sure that their arm swing is wide and short. And what that does, it knits together the body rotation and the arm swing. And once again, it helps you in your quest, if you like, to get back to the most functional or most effective impact position. So a really nice little exercise that you can do yourself is to put your arms out in front of you and just have your palms facing forward and take a body turn and just push your hands away from your head a little bit. That gives you the feeling of what it's like to keep the width in your golf swing and keep the shape in your backswing, and that's really, really important. I don't think we profess that there has to be a, a certain size of backswing for each player. I certainly think we would go more towards shortening the swing and trying to keep it simple rather than trying to hit these big, big positions we might see guys like Dustin Johnson have for your everyday player. The other thing that I think Butch works on very much and looks at is the way the golf club works through the impact position and out through the other side. So we talk about post impact, we talk about the way the golf club would interact with the kind of the shaft plane and how it works through the impact position. Making sure that the club face is nice and stable, is out in front of the body and that the chest has stayed down and we're in a position here where we can feel post impact and the drill that I would prescribe to try and feel that would be hitting some punch shots where you feel like you stop into this position at post impact. So whilst I don't think there's like a philosophy as such in terms of like we don't want every player to swing the club the same way, I think if you've got a good stable lower body in your backswing, I think if you've got a nice short wide arm swing and the club's moving through the golf ball efficiently, I think you're going to be a much, much better ball striker and I think you're going to fit into the way that Butch and Claude and I would all like to see you swing the club.